Okay, today I'm going to show you how to tie a spoon fly. Very popular fly in salt water here recently. It's been out for a while and it's really devastating on the redfish. And it works real well. It's pretty simple fly to tie. Now I'm going to show you how. First thing you want to do is attach a little marabou tail on the back of it. It doesn't have to be big. As you can tell, I like using a lot of marabou in my flies. It's a great material. It gives you a lot of action with little forward movement of the fly. A lot of times that will trigger a strike. Good. Just tie it into the very back, as far back as you can get it. Throw in a few wraps there to knock down some of the unruly fibers of it. I'm going to throw in a little bit of gold flash here. This is a little bit of crinkle gold flash. Don't really need it, but I like adding it because of the action of the marabou. It really makes this gold come alive and it wiggles it around a lot due to the action of the marabou and really makes everything come alive. Good. Get it all back on the shank as far as you can there. That's plenty. Alright, for the spoon part of this fly, what you want to do is make you a little pattern out of cardboard that you can trace. You trace it up on some gold holographic decorator tape and then cut out a piece. Looks like this. This decorator tape is one sided. One sided has adhesive, the other side it has the, uh, the gold holographic. What you want to do is take this tape, fold it over so the two adhesive parts are touching, and then work out any bubbles that may arise in between it makes it nice and flat and that provides you gold holographic on both sides of the fly and then what we want to do is we've got little tabs on the end we want to come along and work these in we want to try and get everything nice and straight that's very very important the more crooked this is on the hook shank or the less straight that it is the more your fly will have a tendency to want to spin if it spins going through the water column you have tied this fly incorrectly you want it to wobble and if it wobbles it won't twist up your fly line and it gives a lot of action that the fish will pick up on just want to work this thread back to the back here. Get about as far back as you can on the shank. That's about it. Come through tie in the back part loosely and you can straighten everything up nice and straight make it all nice and neat now's the time you want to spend an extra few seconds or a minute or so here getting everything nice and straight this makes for a good fly come on in here finish it off on the back with a quick whip finish. There we go. Trim off the back of the end of the tab here. Make it nice and neat. Alright, it's a little crooked, so now I want to come in here. I didn't make my 
wraps on the back of the tab very tight. Made it to where I can kind of adjust this if I need to. Looks pretty straight. Check it from both sides. Everything looks good. Alright, now we want to tie in some lead eyes on the front. V-chain eyes will work good too. This makes the fly want to fall in, in the water column and when it does that it creates the wobble effect. So you always want to throw a lead eye on the front of this fly. Get everything nice and straight. I don't worry about coming in underneath and tightening it up because we're getting ready to throw some epoxy to everything here. And once we do that, nothing will move. It'll make the fly very durable. You can fish it over and over. And get a lot of life out of this fly. One last time. Just make sure everything is lined up. Everything looks pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to epoxy the fly. Alright, now we're mixing up some 5 minute epoxy. I like to use 30 minute epoxy and then put it on a turner. It gives me a little bit more working time if I need to fine tune something on the fly or if I'd like to adjust something it gives me a little more freedom to do so. For this one here we're going to stick on some 5 minute epoxy. Very simple to do it. Just want to get it around the hook shank in the spoon part of the fly. Pretty good. That would be the most important part. You don't want to get too much on. Get it up here around the eyes. You want to put it on the back side as well. Not as heavy on the back side of course, but still get some there. Get it around your lead eye. You got too much on there, you can always knock a little off. That right there is about perfect. You just sit here and turn it with the five minute epoxy. It'll even itself out pretty good. Everything looks nice and straight. Should be a very good fly in the water. Put two of them on the turner here. That'll get everything uh, nice and straight. Keep the glue from forming on one side too much and make the glue nice and even. So that's it. That's the spoon fly. We'll show you a nice finished picture at the end and uh, hope you like it.